My name is Prez and I work at Thrillist. Around these parts, I'm known as the $5 lunch guy. Every episode, I'm gonna put you guys onto the very finest New York rub for $5 or less. Hello to you two. Let's see what we got here today. Huh, turkey burger the underrated brother of the beef burger. Now, when it comes to turkey burgers, you can get them in health conscious spots, burger specialty joints, but most of those are out of our budget. Oh, hey Prez, you should check out um, David's Brisket House in um, Bed-Stuy. They're known for their New York classic sandwiches, but their turkey burgers are really, really good. Okay, I mean, have you had it before? Yeah, of course, I wouldn't say it if it's not legit, you know? Good point. Check All right, guys, let's go. Yo, shout out to Freddy for putting us on to David's Brisket House, which, according to Thrillist, is one of the best places in the city to get a classic New York style sandwich. Now, when you usually think of a turkey burger, you're usually not thinking of a brisket house in Bed-Stuy, but when it comes to cheap food, leave no stone unturned, am I right? It's five bucks somewhere, let's go. So these are the rules of Operation Five Buck Lunch. It's gotta be good, because nobody wants bad food for lunch. No big chains, because that's just too easy. It's gotta be $5 or less. And whatever I don't use today rolls over into the next episode. If you had to choose between a turkey burger and a regular beef burger, what are you going for? A regular beef burger. Regular beef burger, man. I choose a regular burger. Why is that? I just like beef. Juicy, I think. Why would somebody get a turkey burger? Maybe if they think it's more healthy or it's a better substitute than beef. Some people love turkey burgers because they're the leaner, healthier choice. And a few straight up only love the classic beef burger. But no matter where you stand on the issue, I think we can all agree there was enough room for Jack on the door at the end of the Titanic movie. But now that we're here in bed let's get it. Now, if you don't know, I'm about to put you on. Spike Lee's classic film, Do the Right Thing, was filmed right here in bed not too far away on Stuyvesant Ave. Now, while the pizza store was fake, the event that inspired the script, which was written in two weeks, actually occurred in Howard Beach. Now you know. All right, let's go. There we are. David's Brisket House, bed no strength. Let's go eat. As soon as you walk in here, this feels like a classic deli. You know what I mean? They have, you know, accolades, The Voice, New York Times. They have like a food wall for like people who do challenges. I mean, I might try that at some point, but this isn't the show for that. Um, yeah, man, this place just feels legit. No frills, just food. Hey, what's going on? How hey. you doing? How are you? What's your name? My name is Riyad. Prez, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So too. this is my first time here to David's Brisket House. What do people need to know about this place? Well, this place, this place has been around for over 50 years. We keep it the same way. We haven't changed a, a bit. Oh, what is your favorite? My favorite is brisket, hands down. Okay, well, unfortunately, I only have five bucks, so I'm here for your turkey burger. What can you tell me about that? Well, turkey burger is more of a, a substitute to people that don't like red meat, which is lighter, kind of, you know, easier for the stomach to digest. Right, right, right. And it doesn't put you to sleep. Okay, I feel you. I mean, if you're choosing between, like, a burger, a regular burger and a turkey Absolutely, burger, yeah. which it's, one are you going? I, personally, I would go with the, with the light one, which is a turkey burger. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to go with that then. How much yeah. is that? It is four fifty. Four fifty. Brilliant. Awesome. There you go. Would you like anything on it? Um, Lettuce, tomatoes, yeah, the work. Yeah, lettuce, tomato, the works. The works, man. Right, man. Everything except for mustard. No mustard. David's Brisket House's turkey burger. Yo, it's your boy bringing you cheap food realness. Let's do it. First bite. Mm. Yeah. Do you remember the people we spoke to on the train? Their number one reason for maybe not choosing a turkey burger over a beef burger is because they seem to be dry, they, maybe they don't have enough flavor. I can tell you right now, this debunks all of those myths because, I mean, look at it. This thing is dripping. Mm. Mayo and ketchup right up top. You have, of course, your lettuce, your tomatoes, your onions. Very standard fare. Now, I didn't get cheese for a particular reason. I wanted to make sure for you guys that this is a proper burger. So I wanted to make sure that the turkey flavor wasn't being overpowered by the cheese. Now you might've noticed that I didn't put the pickles in my sandwich and I haven't touched it yet. I am not a pickle guy, but I know those of you out there are. So I will eat my first pickle ever live on all of the internets for you, for y'all. Yep, mm -hmm. I'm still not a pickle guy.
they took the time to kind of like do this right. And I can appreciate that. And like a brisket house making a turkey burger, you're not expecting it, but this is damn good. And especially for 450, you can't beat that, you know? I've paid upwards of like 12 to $15 for a fancy turkey burger with fries and all the accoutrements that are, tri that are supposed to make it taste good. Mm. Ooh, that was absolutely fantastic. Hands down, I will say, Perez 100% co-signed. This is the best turkey burger I have ever had. I would 100% would come back for this. 450, you can't beat it. Now, let's take this outside. Today's mission was Turkey Burger, where we came all the way out to David's Brisket House in bed to have what I believe was the best turkey burger I will ever have for under five bucks. We even got a little piece of brisket, which is kind of nice, man. I'm definitely gonna be back. And with all of those New York classic style deli sandwiches that are way cheaper than anywhere else I've seen them, I'm 100% coming back, guys. Now, with all that being said, today's mission was an absolute success. It's in budget, it's not a big chain, and say with me, it's damn good. Anyways, I gotta get back to the city. I'll see you later, bye. What's going on? It is your boy Prez, the $5 lunch guy. If you like my show, leave some love below. Also, if you have any suggestions of where we should go next time, leave them in the comments below. Follow us on Instagram at $5 lunch guy. Anyways, comment, like, follow, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.